Hi, I'm Ollie Mitchell and in this QLab tutorial I'm going to be showing you other ways to trigger cues as well as pressing the go button. So let's say we have an audio cue. In the basics tab of the inspector, on the right hand side you can see various options for how to trigger the cue. The first option is a MIDI trigger. This means that you can plug a MIDI keyboard into your computer and then set a note to trigger any cue in your timeline. To do this, just plug in your MIDI keyboard and then press capture. Play a note and it will automatically fill in here. This means that you must play note 60 at a velocity of 47. You can change the velocity to any, which means that it will trigger every time you touch that note, no matter how hard you hit it. Then all you have to do is tick the box and then when you hit that key on your keyboard, the track will start playing. There are also other options such as note off and program changes which you can play with. The next option is a hotkey trigger. Let's say you have a sound effect that happens quite a lot within the show, maybe a doorbell every time someone rings the bell, but it might not always happen at exactly the same time in the show. Rather than putting it in multiple times within your cue list, you can just assign a hotkey to it. So let's put the doorbell in, and then in the hotkey trigger type B for bell. Now, whenever I press B, it will play. This will work wherever you are in the cue list at any time. The next option is a wall clock trigger. This allows a cue to start at a certain time of day. In the theatre, it might be that you want your five minute warning to play bang on a certain time each day. In museums or shop windows, you may have other uses for this. Here, you can set which day you'd like it to play, be it every day or just on certain days. The time now as I record this is 14.28, so let's set it to 14.29. And now if we wait, it should play at 14.29. The final option is a timecode trigger. Various devices can output a timecode, be it your lighting or sound consoles, or another computer or any other device. If you are using such a device, then you can set a cue to trigger with the timecode to sync everything up. That concludes this tutorial on triggering cues without the go button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.